Steve Menzel is owner and president of Proactive Lifestyle and Coaching in Oconomowoc, Wisconsin. In his line of work, he's confronted the next major obstacle for American health care, childhood obesity. The uh, detrimental effects of, this, of childhood obesity go far beyond the children themselves, and um, they continue to, str to strain an already overstrained health care system. Children now are, are exhibiting uh, disease that we were seeing um, just 25 or 30 years ago in, in adults. In the, uh, in the last 100 years, body weight has increased by 25%. Uh, we went through the agricultural revolution, uh, the industrial revolution, technology uh, age, uh, information age. We don't have to go out and forage for food and, and hunt and, and find, uh, find our own food. Uh, it's very uh, accessible uh, to us. But that, that hasn't changed our biology as human beings. There were famines and there was a difficulty of finding food at times. We uh, still have a tendency to want to eat as much as we can in a, in a particular uh, setting. Our body craves high calorie foods and a lot of food uh, to, to prepare us for, uh, you know, biologically, instinctually for those times of famine. According to Steve, part of the problem is that parents are becoming more occupied at work and less engaged in their kids' eating habits. People are working more hours because the, uh, they're, they're wanting to pursue what we know as the American dream and trying to uh, meet mortgage payments and cars, things like that, vacations, that it's put an enormous uh, debt and financial strain on families so that now, instead of having both parents home, oftentimes both parents are um, feeling like they have to uh, go out and work. And uh, that's created a challenge where now we see more prepackaged foods, uh, more fast foods, the demand for those things has gone way up because people don't feel like they have the time to come home and pr um, both select and prepare uh, and consume healthy foods. But parenting isn't the only issue. Both government and the food industry promote unhealthy eating. As a culture and as, as communities, we have a responsibility to provide our children access to healthful alternatives. And uh, that starts with the food companies and it starts with the federal government corn syrup and, uh, and fructose and sweeteners. Because of the corn uh, industry is being subsidized, it's the cheapest ingredient that the food companies can put in the, into the foods. And so it's, it's uh, a low, new, has a low nutritive value. It's cost effective for the food companies, so they're putting it in there. In the end, perhaps American values need to be questioned. M maybe the American dream has lost the component of health and longevity and well-being as part of it. And I, I'd, I'd like to see health and well-being and longevity be the driving factor in the American dream.